What is going on guys? Welcome back here once again to another episode by Fishing South Jersey. In today's video guys, we are going to be doing a little bit of an unboxing. Um, recently I did purchase some stuff off Bass Pro Shops. Um, packages just arrived and with that we are going to get right into this unboxing video right now. Okay guys, so we're going to get right into this unboxing. Um, as usual, we're going to take you know, the trusty pocket knife and we are going to open this bad boy right up. However though, upon further examination of this box, you guys can read it for yourself. It does say do not open with knife. We're going to open it with a knife anyway. So, let's get into this video. You just open the box with the knife. Oh, I can I can see why they said that. I cut my receipt I cut my receipt in half, so that's why I said that. Bowl wrap all out. Okay folks. Oh boy. Well that's not good. Okay, so let's get into some boxing. First bait out of the box, we have got here a Striking Bitsy Minnow crankbait. Um, the reason I got this bait, um, to imitate the little tiny forage that we have in our South Jersey pond and lakes. Um, really, we have, um, for forage tries, we have bluegill, you know, perch, crappie, um, a lot of smaller finger length fish, minnows and stuff. And this is going to imitate that forage perfectly. You know, this is going to be an awesome multi-species lure. Really, I'm looking forward to using this. Um, that is a striking Bitsy Minnow. Next bait out of the box. We have got here a blade bait. Um, this is a Johnson Thin Fisher blade bait in a gold color. I believe it is a quarter ounce. Yep, quarter ounce blade bait. Um, um, this is a great wintertime lure. Um, catches fish um, with a yo-yo retrieve. Um, really good for rock um, um, points and stuff like that. Um, Yo-yoing it off the bottom. Really awesome wintertime lure. It's a Johnson Thin Fisher. That's bait number two out of the box. Bait number three. We have got here a little Cotton Cordell Gay Blade. This is another blade bait. Um, just a different brand. Um, I believe this is also... Yes, it is a quarter ounce. Um... Um, chrome blackback blade bait. Um, another really good cold water technique, yo yoing it. So that's their bait out of the box. Bait number four, we have got a Storm Original Wiggle Wart in the natural. Um, what color is this? Natural red crayfish color. Um, this is going to be really good. I know the lake that only has crawfish in it, not only, but it has crawfish in it as, as um, forage. Um, this is going to be really great for that lake to imitate those crawls in the winter time. Um, can't wait to use this bad boy. Um, deep diamond crankbait, I believe this thing dives to maybe 10 feet, something like that. So there's that storm original wiggle wart crankbait. That is bait number four. Bait number five, we have got a Rapala. DT6 crankbait. Um, it's in the blue little color, 3 8 ounce, dives 6 feet. Um, I love the DT6 crankbait. They have no um, uh, rattles in them, but um, it's a balsa crankbait, so it's just going to have a wobble to it. Um, this is a really great springtime lure and fall. Um, I already have it in a pumpkin seed color, so I went and got another one in a blue in a blue -blue color. So um, that is bait number. Five out of the box. Bait number six, we got a jerk bait. This is a Smithwick Elite 8 Rogue jerk bait. Um, I've never used a Smithwick before, and this thing is a big jerk bait. I did not expect it to be this big. Um, anyway, it is a four and a half inch jerk bait. It weighs a half ounce and it dives six to eight feet. Suspending jerk bait. Um, I don't even really have to say much about this bait. Jerk baits are a staple among uh, fishermen in the wintertime. Uh, you know, rip rip, pause retrieve. 
let it sit for se a couple seconds. Um, really good for cold baths. Um, so that's his bait. Bait number seven. This is a striking KVD 1.5 square bill. Um, dies to six feet. Uh, I believe it's like a two and a half inch, seven sixteenth ounce size in the Delta red color. Um, once again, that's a really nice bait for early spring, maybe fall fishing. Um, you want to imitate those crawfish and stuff. Really awesome bait. Can't wait to use this. Next bait out of the box. We have got a Rapala Shallow Shad Wrap crankbait. Um, so this, like I'm sure you guys have heard of the Shad Wrap crankbait. It's a nice flat sided crankbait, really good for wintertime fish. Um, but this is like the same crankbait, but it's just a shallow version of it. So it dies a little, it dies shallower. Um, got in the crawdad color to make those crawfish once again. Um, I will admit though, these baits are a bit pricey. This crankbait was $10. Um, that's a pretty expensive crankbait. Um, however, the Rapalas are Rapalas, you know, they're really, they're fish catching machines. So, can't wait to use this. That's bait number, I think, eight. Let's see, two, four. Six, seven, yeah, bait number eight out of the box. Next bait, another blade bait. This is a Johnson Thin Fisher um, blade bait. I've already talked about it, so I'm not going to say too much about it. It is a another quarter round size, and it is in the um, silver with a black back color. That's bait number nine out of the box. Bait number ten is a rooster tail. Um, it is a one eighth ounce size and it is a yellow is in a yellow color with a silver blade. Um, this is an awesome multi species lure. If you're looking to catch, you know, anything from crappie, bass, pickerel, perch, anything will eat a rooster tail. Um, um, compared to like the Meps and stuff and the um, Panther Martins, I do like this um, brand better, the Warren's original rooster tail. Um, so that's bait number ten out of the box, right there. And the last bait out of the box, which came apart, it was packaged, but I guess it must have come apart during shipment. It is already out of the package. This is a Lucky Craft um, Lightning Pointer square bill. Uh, not a square bill, uh, jerk bait. Uh, suspending jerk bait. It is a half ounce. Of, let me see. Uh, four inch. It's a five eighth ounce. Excuse me. Um, you're in a sexy shirt, true shed. There you go, so you guys can see it. Um, I believe it dives. What is it dive? If it says it. I don't know what this thing dives. It doesn't really matter. It is a suspending jerk bait um, and a shad pattern. So this is going to be really good. Obviously, another really good wintertime bait. Um, I've never um, used a Lucky Craft before, so I know that they do make really good stuff. Lucky Crafts are, though, very expensive. This bait, I believe, was $15. Um, Either way, though, I'm pretty sure it's going to be worth the money um, because you guys here, Lucky Crafts, you know that they they're really, really good fish catching baits. So that's bait number eleven out of the box. This Lucky Craft Lightning Pointer um, Jerk Bait. Now, as you guys can see, box is empty. That's gonna be the end of the video, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed this little unboxing video. Um, if you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like. If you have any questions or any of the baits I have, or if you just want to drop some support, make sure to leave a comment below. And if you are new to the channel, guys, make sure to subscribe. I appreciate all the support. Um, plenty of videos coming out this upcoming year. A lot of interesting challenge videos I have planned. As um, soon as that water starts to warm up, though. Um, so with that, guys, I will see you all in the next video.